Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So today I picked up another box of AliExpress camera accessories. Now AliExpress have recently started aggregating orders. If you buy quite regularly from AliExpress, you're gonna find, or at least it's happened to me a few times now that they put various orders from different shops into one box and then ship that. So I'm not sure exactly why they're doing that, but this is what has been going on. And uh, this was one of my aggregated orders. So what I picked up here is the Ulanzi MT 34 multifunctional tripod. Now I've talked before about AliExpress, huge Chinese marketplace, <coughs> um, Alibaba's B2C line. And uh, they have a vast amount of things that are useful if you're into vlogging or photo video. And I have bought quite a few pieces from this company called Ulanzi, which seems to be a smaller Chinese company, but they specialize in all this vlogging kit. So brackets, tripods, desktop tripods, and I must say everything I bought from them so far has been really good. Now this piece of kit, um, it came in a decent sized box um, and there was just the, yeah, there was just a tripod. So that's something I'm never really happy about when there's no instructions. Uh, now this was, this is selling for like 15, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, depending where you find it. And the reason I bought this guy was because I was looking for something I could keep in my camera bag that would be that would do basically everything I might want when I'm recording um, vlogs out of the house without having to bring multiple components with me. So for example, this is something you can do. I have another Ulanzi kit here. Uh, this is a little, this is a kind of much flimsier and lighter weight uh, mini tripod. I'm not sure what this product number is. And then I just have a, uh, and this telescope's for about, I don't know, 30 centimeters. And I have a little cheap, um monopod here on the top with a quarter inch head so this works and this is fine but it's not super sturdy so i'm going to keep this guy at home but when i'm out of the house and i just want one thing that i can quickly take in take out i wanted this and the reason that i like this kit is it has the tripod legs but they're built in they're built they're attached to the rest of the body of this kit now the first thing i thought was wow this is actually a surprisingly sturdy looking piece of kit. It's kind of chunky, uh, it's got a nice little firm feeling grip here. And so you have your three legs at the bottom here. And then you have a locking ring. Now again, there's no instructions, but you don't need to be um, gifted to, uh, to figure out how this thing works. It's pretty self-explanatory. So the locking ring, um, it's a little bit hard to see the symbols here, but it's right to unlock. And once you've unlocked it, you can start telescoping now this guy goes out all the way to this length here now this is the full length that i have and that's pretty good so if you're looking for a tool that you can uh bring around with you to shoot so what you can do is just pop out the tripod legs then telescope to your desired height i am telescoping and then go ahead and just use the locking ring to fix that. And once you've got it locked, of course, it should be secure. I can't use force to de-telescope it. I'm not sure if that's a word, de-telescope. So let me show you guys what else there is. On the top of it, you have a ball bracket and you have a little locking ring here. So you can go around the full range of motion and you can lock it. So let's say I'm recording at a table here. I'm sitting at a table, I want to do a vlog um and the table is like slanted this way a bit so i can just tap it forward slightly and go ahead and lock that in here and then of course i would also be locking in the telescoping here now on the top you have a quarter inch just in case you have bought this product and you're like what is that connection on top it came with this little plastic sheath i've never seen before and uh, that's how it came to me and i was like what is this connection so you just need to take that off and you'll get your quarter inch head. Now, <clears throat> a lot of the Ulanzi products <clears throat> have this kind of locking wheel mechanism. And what I don't really understand, and um, I'm not feeling inclined to really spend a lot of time figuring this out, but so, you know, you can take this. Now, I would assume that this is locking and unlocking an easy way to do it. Just toggle this um, little screw, the you know, this easy thing. Now, this is essentially an unboxing. I haven't done more than set it up and, and uh, play around with it. But if I want to, let's say I want to screw in. So this is a camcorder I'm using with it. I'm just going to go ahead and manually screw.
screw in my camcorder and then I'm just literally using the uh, locking wheel uh, here and I'm just gonna tighten it as far as it can go now I can't really tighten it much further than that that's about the extent to which I can move this thing with my hands now what I don't understand is that it's still not locked on this axis I'm not sure if this is intended as a feature that you can use this with your thumb just to kind of swivel the camera about but it does actually hold by itself so the force of gravity isn't enough to actually change this now this I intended to buy for vlogging but this would actually be pretty decent as a monopod now I already do have a, a 1.5 meter carbon fiber monopod but the fact that this has the uh, tripod legs built in makes this a more versatile tool for me that I can use this for shooting out in the field um, and I can also then do a vlog with it so just to show you what that would look like just un unlock the locking wheel telescope then lock back in place and now I have a pretty pretty solid um, monopod setup for shooting a video out there so my feeling is that for $15 this is a really really solid looking piece of kit um, when I got this my first thought was wow this is a lot sturdier looking than the rest of the Ulanzi uh, gear that I have so my only concern or question is I would like the ability to lock this rigidly in place just so I know that the car like I don't like the fact that if I see if I just put a little bit of pressure here this thing's moving around uh, because of this wheel mechanism so I don't know if I'm missing out on some way to lock it in place but irrespective that's not a deal breaker for me and I still imagine I'm going to get a lot of use out of this uh, telescopic telescopic uh, tripod with a little desk fitting. Hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching. More videos coming soon.